Hi, I'm Lee from the Bicycle Man, and it looks like we've got a flat tire on this ice, so I figured it's perfect time to show you how to fix a flat on your trike. This is going to be the front. Uh, I'll show you how to do the back one on another video sometime. But the front's easy. First thing is, you don't need to take the wheel off. It's already here where we can get at it. There's nothing in the way. So all I do when I fix a flat is flip it up on its side like this in the grass. Then I'm going to use tire irons, which are plastic, and just take the tire off. These hook under here so you can let go for a second. And just work your way around with the other tire irons. You do something like that. Just pull it. Then it drops on the floor. So now I'm going to take the tube out and I'm going to look at the tire, see if I can see something obvious poking in it, you know, like a something sharp, something pointy, a little piece of rock, or did I bang a curb a little while ago and I kind of got an idea of what's wrong. One thing that's nice is if you leave the stem of the tube in, because the, we always put the writing right where the stem goes through the rim, you can kind of get an idea where the hole is in the tube. Like say right here we found a little rock, then I could go back and go, okay, the tube somewhere around in here, if I wanted to patch it, I'd have an idea of where to look. If I don't find anything, what I'm going to do is very gently rub my fingertips along here really carefully so I don't cut myself, but just feel along till I feel something poke me a little bit. And then I'll know where to concentrate on it. It doesn't do you any good to fix a flat if you didn't get rid of the problem that started it. You just end up with another flat. So like, let's say there was a little rock or a thorn or something. I pulled it out. I would grab a new tube. I'd put a little air in it with my air pump. Just to give it a little bit of body like this so it's not all flat and wrinkled up like it's when it's in the box. And then I would take it pop the stem, this part, into the valve hole. And then I'm going to tuck, I'm going to go around and tuck the tube inside of the tire. Since it's got a little bit of shape, it's not going to fold over on itself, it's not going to be all wrinkled up or twisted that way. Then once I've got that in there, I'm going to push the stem part this way a little bit so I can get this part, which is called the bead, kind of started right here. And then I'm going to work my way around with my hands and just tuck it in. This shouldn't be hard to do. This should be something you can do with your fingers instead of using the tire irons on a bike like this or a trike. They're pretty loose. Once I do that, I'm going to pull the stem out down and uh, the reason I did it that way was so it didn't uh, if I had this pulled down already I couldn't tuck the bead in very well so when I push it back out of the way it tucks in and then when it's all set and I pull it down it kind of traps the bead and makes it so the tubes in there perfectly now we can just tilt this back down I'm using a pump like this. This is a, like a little compact pump to take along. I like this one, which is a toe peak. I'll show you why. It's kind of like a pump you'd have at your house. It's got this little foot on it. That's the part I like. I can put my foot on this. Attach this and then sit here like this, instead of having to go something like this order and try to hold it. This is just like a floor pump at home. So I can just sit here and do this motion. And about a hundred strokes later, I'll be getting up to about where we need to be. It takes a while, but this is a lot easier on my back and on my arms doing it with one of these kind of pumps, where it has this foot on it like this. So that's what I'd recommend to you. You can see we're already pretty much there. And that's really all I got to do. The last thing I would do is I would spin the tire around and make sure that this silver part here 
doesn't look like it's going all up and down, like maybe one of the spots is tucked in too far, didn't pop out enough. Just kind of look it over, make sure the tire, the tube's not trying to sneak out and pop off or anything. I just like look it around, make sure everything looks nice and even, everything's good before I get all the way up. I stopped about halfway, so that way I could kind of check it first, then I would finish it off once I was sure everything was right. And that's how you change a flat. It's, it's a nuisance, but yeah, it's not rocket science, and it'll take you about five minutes, really, you know, like once you get used to it. So, hope that's helpful.